Hi guys, it's Melissa with Melissa Peterson Designs. Happy Friday. Hope you guys had a great week. Um, hope you guys are going to have a great weekend. Um, I have a couple items here I've been wanting. It's been staring at me to get done. I've been wanting to paint these. Um, these are two candlesticks I bought at a thrift store. I think it was the Will and Pella. Don't remember for sure, but um, I bought these both for probably $4 or less each. And um, actually, this actually had a sticker from TJ Maxx on it still. Um, when I first got this, I don't know if you can see that, but I actually rubbed some gilding wax on there. I'm going to go ahead and paint right over that. Um, as time goes on, my paint might kind of scuff off and that might show through, and I'm going to be okay with that. Um, I'm not going to strip that off. I'm going to leave it on just to, be, just to see what happens. But um, I'm going to use vintage duck egg. And I'm also going to use Dixie Belle's Lemonade that I have in a jar here because I broke my uh, jar there. Um, I wanted to stick with something kind of on the grayish side, maybe with a hint of blue. And I didn't want to go hurricane gray because I thought that was too gray. Even though I plan on doing white wax to seal when I get done to kind of tone things down and kind of see how things develop. But I'm going to paint this in Vintage Duck Egg. I'm going to do this in um, Lemonade. And I'm going to do some playing with the details. Oh, you got to be kidding me. I had this open. Hang on a second. There we go. I was tempted to do that on my table, but I wasn't. I can't. So, I just gave it a bang straight upside, upside down and opened it by the sink just in case I had an accident. So, this is, if you can see that, vintage duck egg. I really like it. So, I'm going to use a brush and just start painting. I'm going to kind of do around the base first. <sighs> Let me put this up here. It's uh, got a textured look to it. So, I'm going to be doing a lot of pouncing. And I think I'm going to do the details and do the details on this one in Lemonade and just kind of play around with it. And I had to water down this paint a little bit ago because it was really thick. It had gotten thick on me. And I think I watered it down a little bit too much. I added maybe like a tablespoon of water to this. But it's going on real nice. And I think one coat's going to be just fine. So you see that pretty color. And eventually this is going to be sitting on my fireplace mantle whenever I get that done. So I'm putting it on kind of liberally. I want to make sure I'm getting the details because that right there is what I'm going to probably go over with the lemonade and do some different colors to it. So what have you guys been up to? Let me know where you're from, if you're popping in, what you guys got going on, got any projects you're working on, let me know. If you're just taking it easy and getting some relaxation, you know, let me know about that too. Um, I've been working on painting my house periodically. I'm, I've slowed down quite a bit since my vacation. And um, my living room is pretty much done. Hey Mark, how you doing? Um, my closet doors were still kind of like an off-white and it doesn't it kind of clashes with my white walls so Meryl finally got the closet doors down so I'm, I'm gonna be going outside and spray painting them while it's not too windy out so this will be interesting but they'll look much better when they're all done oh and Monday um, last Monday I had a mini drawing for um, the, the stencil I used for my project where it said when in doubt add more wine and the winner for that drawing was Mindy Harris so Mindy when you see this I'll private message you um, that, that sign was about that design was about seven inches by eight inches um, I'm gonna let, see if you want me to make it a little bit different size if there's a project you got in mind and um, I'm gonna cut two stencils and um, I'll also get the transfer tape ready and I'll drop it off to you when 
when you want me to because I got to run into town either later today or tomorrow. So I'll private message you when you see this or before you see this probably. So I'm just painting one coat of my uh, vintage duck egg on this candlestick. It's pretty heavy. It's really neat. I'm trying to do this without getting paint all over me. And then I also have a May gifting challenge um, for the month of May. And um, pretty much if you uh, like my page, follow my page, um, like this video, if you share this video or the video I did on Friday, I'll put your name in a drawing. And for each share, I'll put your name in there again. So you can get more than one chance. And the, the prize is going to be an 8-ounce jar of your own Dixie Belle paint in your color that you decide you want. So May 29th, I think, is the Friday. So that's when I'll, I'll uh, do the drawing. And I'll find out what color the, the giftee wants and get that ordered. And I've got two retailers I go through. So it's uh, Anna with Furniture Boutique in Knoxville. And I also go through... Um, Pat at Salvage Soul and uh, Perry, they both drop ship, or they both ship, so um, I'll contact them first before I go online to order to see if they have it. Okay, now I'll try and get the middle, because that middle's going to be showing. This will be interesting. Yeah, I'm getting pain on my fingers. Yeah, I've had a heck of a day yesterday. I got a nice little boo-boo yesterday sanding some wood. I had to do a growth chart in another board yesterday. And the sander slipped and went right across my hand. Okay, that one's gonna dry. I'll put that over there. And I think I'm done with this color. Okay. Now this one, I already got a head start. I started painting it, le I'm gonna say lemoncello, lemonade. I really should do a better job on cleaning my jars. Because okay. then this happens. So I'm just painting some candlesticks I bought a while back to see if I can dress them up so that way they look better with the way I want them. So, and this one, this little booger uh, yesterday it has a nice little thing to hold your candle, and I poked my thumb right on it yesterday. So I had a heck of a time yesterday. So I got started. I got painted lemon, lemonade. There we go. Oh, let me see. So this one's got more detail, so I've actually got a brush that's probably seen better days, definitely seen better days. I'm going to be doing a lot of pouncing when I get to those details. And there goes my stomach. Hope you didn't hear that. And I'm kind of applying this on kind of liberally and getting in the details and pouncing and ruining my brush. So I'll just save this brush for stuff like this. And when I did that yesterday, that was also one coat. So sometimes one coat's just fine. Sometimes you have to add two coats. It just kind of depends on what you're working on. Um, yesterday or this week I did my sign with um, Midnight Sky and I did uh, the cotton over it. The one coat did pretty good. Here comes Meryl. Okay, so if Meryl comes in and says anything he shouldn't say, I'm sorry. He's been saying goodbye for the last 40 minutes. Hang on a second. Meryl, I'm on live. Meryl, I'm on live. That poor man. At 
least Dalton's not home. If those two were home together, I would have issues with them saying stuff they shouldn't be saying. Maybe I shouldn't have warned him have him come up here and get on here. That would not be good. Okay, almost done. And I am painting the top side. I can't turn that yet. Or I am going to paint the inside. I'll do that later. Because that part of that will show too. And I, don't, I want it to all be the same color. Okay. So there's that. All in lemon. Yeah, I'm done with this brush. I grabbed a couple extra brushes, so hopefully I didn't have to keep getting up, but you know how that works out. You plan and things don't work out the way they're supposed to. Okay, so I wanted to do some embellishments on this one with the white that I'm using as a jar here. And I'm gonna stick with the part that's dry. And I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna add the white on there. And I'm using Dixie Bell's cotton. And I probably should have had a paper plate. Let me see. And I just want a brush that's kind of flat. And I'm just going to load it up a little bit and kind of offload a little bit. And I'm going to actually wipe sideways and just kind of go along those raised edges and add white to them. And if I get a little heavy handed, I can always go back later after it's dry and I can just kind of cover up with the lemon, lemonade. I think saying lemonade is a little too much work for me today. So it's just going to be kind of like a muted down design. Um, you saw the original, the vines here were brown. See, and I got a little bit too much white on there, but I can fix that if I decide to later. So, just like that. So I'm just dressing up some, some stuff I found at the thrift stores. And I was hoping to go to the well today, but it's not going to work out, so I don't have a vehicle to take. So I was going to look for some more candlesticks. But I guess that's just the way things are. There we go. Getting a little heavy handed there. Oh, there we go. Yeah, I got a little heavy handed there in a couple places, but I'll just go back and just kind of do a touch up. That's no big deal. So just like that. And when that dries, I was thinking about adding some white wax to it, but I'll have to clean that up to it up first before I do that. Because the white wax will kind of use as a sealer, but also kind of tone down my colors too. I'm really liking the white wax on top of um, the paint. And let me see here. I still have some wet areas here. So I'm just kind of rubbing the wet in so it kind of dries a little quicker. But I want to do the same thing with those beaded areas and do the lemon lemonade over that so it kind of ties it in, the two in. So that is my plan with that. So I just use my good brush on that. I'll just wipe it off. Let me see if I can do that here. If you got any questions, let me know. Hi, Art. How you doing? So... Mark, are you still watching? Has Lori got you doing a garden this year? We're putting a garden in. Merrill tried uh, getting out of that. He, um, Dalton kind of confiscated part of my yard where my garden was. And I just got a new area plowed last night, so I'm thrilled. So that's going to be one of our weekend projects. 
Okay. Um, let me see if I can do this. I'm just adding a little lemonade to the to the beads of this. Because the top of the beads are dry, but the bottoms aren't. So I gotta be careful so I don't muddy up the colors. And I got a little accident there, but that's okay. So that's what I'm gonna do around all the beads. Yikes, going the wrong way. So that way they kind of tie in together. Kinda. I like the two colors together. So, well, I'm sorry I don't have time to hang out to white waxy so you can see how they're gonna look. Um, I don't want you watching paint dry. I don't mind it, but I don't think you're gonna wanna watch that, so. Um, don't forget, um, I've got my May gifting challenge going on, so if you guys wanna join, um, just like my page, like this post, share this post, and I'll put your name in the jar once I confirm everything. And if you got any questions, let me know, but here I am painting two candlesticks, kind of fitting my decor, so something easy to do, and this probably cost me $4, and I think this cost me less than $4, so hope you guys have a great weekend, and I hope to see you on Monday, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.